Hey guys, getting tons of emails and questions about uh, variable braking systems on baitcast reels versus magnetic. And for years I've been using Shimano's that have VBS, variable braking system, and I'll show you what it looks like. A VBS system is basically these little pins, and I consider them to be like parachutes. The more of them you have that are open, and what I consider open would be they're movable, they can go back and forth, the more control it gives you over your cast. Now the great thing about this system is if you're new to bait cast users, uh, you can actually set it four or five or six of them in the open position and you can literally cast without even using your thumb and I'll show you that. So I've got six right there. I'm gonna close up the side, take this bait, spool tension's good, take it out there. And I can cast that out there and not even touch it with my thumb and it's not gonna backlash. So if you're new, don't be afraid of a bait cast reel that uses a VBS or SVS infinity braking system because it offers you the ultimate control. Now, let's see how far it is. And I'll show you what the big difference is when you have pins out. I have a little line counter here. So I casted that line out there. That shouldn't get me more than 40 or 50 feet. Great control, but no distance. So what happens on the other end of the spectrum with a VBS reel? I'm gonna go to my most used setting, which is two brakes that I use. So I'm gonna take off four and by Turning them off, I mean you're clicking them in so they can't slide back and forth. So you can see I've got two that are open and four that are closed. Pop that off. And let's see how we go. Okay. With this system, you still want to use your thumb. You want to stop it right before it hits the water. So let's check out what we did here. So I think we we're 55 feet there. Is that 101? All right, so 101 feet. So I almost doubled my distance by reducing the amount of pins from six open uh, to only two on and four off. Now what happens when I decide to drop it one more down? What if I go to one? Technically, I'm really reducing my rate by 50%. So now you can see I've got five that are closed, one that's on offering control. Close this up, I'm gonna make the same cast. All right, so there you have it. What's that, 141, 142 feet compared to 100 when I had two brakes on. So the basic nuts of bolts of variable braking systems from Shimano is the fact that if you're a new bait cast user, use four, five, or six pins out, giving you the maximum control. And basically a person who's never used a bait caster can use it and cast it without bird's nesting. If you're an experienced bait cast user, three, two, and one, the lower the number, the further you're gonna cast, but you're gonna to need to have a little bit of thumb control to get those maximum distances. That's it for variable braking systems, guys. You know, if you find a reel like the new SLX is a great example that has a six pin system, or everything else that we have now has the SVS Infinity system, or in the ultimate end, our DC systems. Shimano's casting reels are made to work perfectly. And when you compare them to the magnetic systems, they're not always on. They're only working when you need them most, when your spool is spinning at its maximum speed, and that's what makes them so efficient.